after a week off from NCIS Origins, we're back. I really enjoyed this week's episode. I was a little worried about the tonal shift from the previous week's episode, but I feel like the creative team took that shift and ran with it, and I really like what they did this week. After last week's episode, I felt like the story got more serious. Our characters were not infallible anymore, but this episode tied everything together very well. We learned more about Gibbs and his path to healing, how Franks is an actual person with actual feelings, and most importantly, the status of Lala and Eddie. So let's begin with the characters. The episodes have gotten more character focused, especially after last week's episode featuring Lala and the episode before it featuring Mike. I'm actually really enjoying these types of episodes. This week's episode definitely focused more on Gibbs and his path to healing. We get a couple of key flashback moments in the episode. It has only been eight months since Gibbs was able to come home. That seems like an incredibly fast turnaround, but clearly it has been good for Gibbs. It was great to see how far he had come compared to when he first got home to when we see him now. I really liked the bird element throughout the story. It showed the more gentle side of Gibbs and also interestingly enough, Frank's more gentle side as well. It was a good metaphor for Gibbs' life and his healing process. This scene was also just absolutely heartbreaking. It was crazy how much emotion was conveyed just by seeing the car, just seeing the evidence of what had occurred. I'm glad to see Lala is back. Obviously, now we understand more about what she is going through, but she's back to being at crime scenes early and doing her research. It was honestly Honestly, good to see her back, but last week's episode wasn't completely retconned. We can tell she's still processing quite a lot. I think it's just more subtle in this episode. I absolutely called it. Her and Eddie are on a break. He was gonna move in, but you know, it was better to just give each other some space because the whole thing, it's problematic. I'm problematic which honestly makes sense. The writers are just preparing us for Lala and Gibbs to get together. I've made my opinions clear on this matter. If this must happen, I just hope it's good. I don't need a will they, won't they thing with Lala and Gibbs. I would rather just have them not be together at all. After watching this episode, I really liked Mike Frank's character after watching this episode. I feel like in previous episodes, he was a little too extra and just a little too much, almost over the top. But this episode, I'm happy to see Frank has feelings and emotions. He's sort of become more of a person and less of a caricature at this point. I really love seeing Gibbs' relationship with Franks as well. Right after what happened, Gibbs truly blames Franks and hates Franks. This scene was wild that Gibbs had been talking to Mary Jo. Hey, don't worry about it, Mary Jo, I got him and I was glad to see Franks defending her. The reason that this lady looked at Gibbs like she did in the first episode was because she had seen him when he was there eight months earlier with Franks. Just a great connection there. It was cool to see how Gibbs and Frank's relationship went from hatred to trust. Gibbs is willing to trust Franks and is willing to work under him and have him be his boss, which shows a lot of growth from this moment. I feel like there was a lot of growth in Frank's character as well when he acknowledged that he had made a mistake with the interview process and trusted Gibbs enough to tell him, even if he didn't want to tell his whole team. Look, I didn't say nothing up there because I was in the mood to take any crap from Dominguez. I like that we've seen most of the NIS team perform an interrogation. It serves almost like a badge of honor if you've done your own interrogation, and it was cool to see this moment of growth for Gibbs. Let's talk about the blue folder. I would argue we were misled. I think honestly at this point, it seems like Gibbs has already killed Hernandez. Maybe he hasn't. What? If Franks and Tish don't make it by the end of the season, I will be so sad. It sort of seems like that's what they're setting us up for. I think it's great to see this moment though. Franks wants to protect Tish so badly to the point that he'll probably drive her away. Honestly, really hoping for the best for them though. What Tish went through sort of came out of nowhere, so we'll see how the writers bring that up again in later episodes. The score, musical elements of the episode were really good. Intense and cinematic, but not too overpowering. Also, this scene, this song, so good. Surely Marielle Molino is walking to music being played on the set because this was timed up so perfectly. So satisfying. We're also introduced more to the guys. Hey, Rando, check with the guys. Rando. Let's check with the guys. We've got Roger, Dawson, JJ. We met these guys in the first episode, so it's fun to see the team interact with more people in the office. You two should have babies. Give us something to celebrate. Oh, I already have a child. 
with my wife. This was a weird comment. I think it just served as a reminder that we should be shipping Lala with Gibbs and that Randy has a wife and kid. Something of which I'm sure will have no emotionally devastating impact on the audience at all. The final monologue and testimony of this lady was intense. The camcorder aesthetic was good and reminded us we were in the 90s. Lala is deeply affected by this woman's words. I think this was a great and subtle way to call back to what we learned in the last episode about Lala. This week's episode was a fantastic episode depicting Gibbs' healing journey. Everyone's personality seemed a little bit softer this episode, which I really liked. The look of the episode was great. I like the cinematography and the music combination that happened. We're almost halfway through the season. It looks like Randy's gonna be featured in next week's episode, so I'm looking forward to that. Let me know what your favorite part of this episode was in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank you.